Yeah, so injury update for this week. Uh, obviously, Jack Siebel uh, had some issues in the in the last quarter with his hamstring on the weekend. He's going to miss a, at least a week for us, so um, he won't be taking his place in the side this weekend. Uh, ben Cunnington uh, has missed the last two with, with that back issue. Um, we'll be naming him in the side this afternoon. Um, we still want to see... Uh, what he can deliver for us tomorrow at training. Obviously, he's one of our best players, so we, uh, we need to give him as much time as possible and, and make sure that uh, he's, he's fully right to play this weekend. Uh, obviously, Robbie Tar Tarrant was, um, was another one on the weekend. He's assessed really well this week with that, with that rib injury. Um, he trained fully yesterday, and he'll play this weekend. Uh, Kane Turner has been out for, for quite a while now with, with his injury. Uh, he's progressing really well. We've been really happy with what he's been able to produce at training. Uh, so much so that he'll play some minutes this week in, in our practice match against the Bulldogs on, on Saturday afternoon. So some limited minutes for Kane, but um, we'll look to progress him over the coming weeks. Uh, Nick larkey has been on a similar path to, to Kane over, over the journey uh, in terms of their rehab. Um, Nick is fully training as well, which is really, uh, really positive signs. Um, he's probably just a week behind Kane, so we'll, we'll look to try and progress Nick into some into some practice match minutes um, the following week, if possible. Uh, Taylor Garner's running progression is going really well. Uh, we think that uh, over the few, over two to three weeks' time, we'll, we'll get him into some modified training, um, progress him to full train maybe the week after. So he's probably still three, four uh, weeks away from from doing full training sessions. Um, but he is progressing well. Ed Vickers-Willis is still one to two away from full training as well, um, and we'll, we'll assess him post, uh, post full training in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Dom Tyson's had uh, a bit of a calf setback. He was still one to two weeks away from, from playing. Uh, Luke Davies-Uniak, uh, his progression over the last couple of weeks has, has been really, really good. Um, he's been training on the same path as Nick and Kane. Um, he's, his training yesterday was, was really, uh, really positive and we think we might even be able to progress him to some, some uh, match sim practice match minutes next week as well with Nick, possibly. So it's been close to six months out now for, for Luke and we're seeing some really good signs from him. So, um, yeah, some real positive news there for Luke. Uh, we continue to be uh, conservative with, with Flynn Perez, Charlie Combin and Benny Jacobs. Uh, so they're all to be confirmed in terms of return to play.